Wits up Sid Slam this week from yet another location. Let's see how many locations we can get throughout the year for Sid Slam, even during a pandemic. Uh, it was Challenge Grand Canaria this week. Nicola Spirik proved once again that she is one of the best in the business, winning Challenge Grand Canaria in style ahead of Sarissa Zer Devers and Lisa Norden. It was Sarah Perez Salowitz first out the water, showing her swim capability much like she did in Miami, but this time she had athletes on her feet with a cracking swim by Spirik and Devers in third. Um, the leading two had about 40 seconds over Lisa Norden. The technical rolling four lap 90k bike course suited at Spirix's bike skills and power and she soon asserted control over the race taking the lead and extending that into T2. She had about over a minute 40 into T2 with uh, ahead of Norden and De Vere's. But there was no stopping Spirit as she continued to run away with the race, taking the win almost five and a half minutes over the chasing women. It was a real battle for second and third, with De Vere's and Norden going a toe to toe, shoulder to shoulder, but De Vere's just getting the edge over Norden for the finish. In another race over the weekend, it was Demi Vollering from Team SD Works who out sprinted Amamik. Anamiek Van Vluten take the win at Liège, best known Liège. It's not bad when your lead out for the last 10k of the race, uh, making sure that it was only a group of five at the front, is from the world champion Anna van der Breggen. She swung off with just 300 metres to go, leaving her teammate to sprint, or leave, leave, leaving her teammate following to sprint to the line to take her first world tour victory. Check out the race because it was a great race to watch, but also check out the run up, a new behind the scenes series looking at three world tour teams as they prepare for the races over the year. I think I'm done. Easy.